What's up guys, it's Jacoby. Welcome back to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't know who I am, hi, Jacoby. I do lifestyle videos. I'm also a college student athlete. I play volleyball, so welcome to my life. Yeah. Now I don't have a bra on, so that can hurt. Anyways, all right, gang. Okay, so we're gonna make some breakfast sandwiches. Spinach, eggs, cheese, some nice sausage round. So for these breakfast sandwiches, I'm gonna use some English muffins. And I think that's all we need, so let's, oh, oh, oh. let's get the cooking. I'm very excited, I'm so hungry. Pro tip, little health tip, always try to add in any kind of veggie you can at all meals. So I just put my frozen English muffin in the toaster just to soften it up so I can slice it in half. And I got my sausage going, and once that's cooked, I'm gonna throw my egg and my spinach in there and melt the cheese on top. So while my breakfast is cooking, I like to drink um, some water. So I'm gonna fill up this water bottle here. I got that little water bottle off of Amazon and it's the brand Thermo Flask, so. Oops, <laughs> did y'all see that? I was trying to vlog and pour my water at the same time and I missed. Mm. And my goal is to drink like two or three of these a day. I usually end up just getting one, but that's okay. But I'm trying to really up my water intake. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is burnt. Ooh, whoopsies. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I dropped my egg in the pan, so it's kind of ugly, but that's okay. Now we're gonna add in my handful of spinach right on top. Bam. And we'll just wait. And we're gonna toast up my sandwich for here. So let's go ahead and drop that in the toaster. And bam. Okay, so now that my sandwich is all assembled, I put it back in the pan so I can melt the cheese, and we're gonna put a lid over it, make it nice and cute, and then put it back on the eye, and watch the cheese melt. All right, so I finished my first little dish. I'll show y'all. It looks really ugly, but you know, it'll taste good probably. So this is just an English muffin with some cheddar cheese, a scrambled egg. I really just like messed it around in the pan. Some sauteed spinach and a piece of maple sausage. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so let's try it. Ready? It's actually pretty good. If I had some hot sauce, it'd be perfect, but yeah, that's really good. All right, so now in conjunction with my breakfast, I like to have a protein shake. This is a little blender bottle. It's really cute. Teal color, color tether, but I'm pretty sure I got this from like TJ Maxx. It has like a little metal thing in it to blend up the protein powder. I'm gonna use the 365 oat chocolate, oat milk chocolate flavor. I don't drink dairy. Shake it up real quick. And I like chocolate flavor just because it's a little bit more tolerable to me. I'm not gonna have that much because I'm not really working out at the moment. So this will be fine, about half a cup. Now I'm gonna grab a protein powder. So I use this um, Whole Foods Sport Plant Protein Rich Chocolate. I've actually never tried it before, so this is gonna be my first. It says it has 30 grams of vegan plant-based protein, um, six grams of branched chain amino acids or BCAAs. Okay, so this is pretty much already filled to one scoop. And she goes, bam. For my blender bottle stands out here, this is like the best part. Two things of ice, and you put your finger in there and you just shake it up. Healthy. Ugh. Tastes good, you need some water to thin it up a little bit. Okay, hi vlog, long time no see. Time for me to cook dinner, but I'm gonna eat lunch before I eat dinner because I have to work late at night. So we will, blah, 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 blah. We will be using my crock pot, if I can find it, <laughs> one second. Follow me on TikTok if you haven't already, at jacoby.sin, see a little ah, ah, ah. Okay, so I follow this recipe on the salty marshmallow and it just says to place the chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot, pour chicken broth in seasonings, and then cook on low for six to eight hours, or high for three to four hours. So we're gonna do high for three hours so it's ready when I get back. So I'm using the Simple Truth Organic Free Range Chicken Broth, fat free. All right, so 
For seasoning, we're gonna try this Trader Joe's vegan chickenless seasoning salt. It has salt, onion powder, turmeric, and garlic powders. So we're gonna add that to the chicken. All right, put that bad boy on high. Now that cooks for about three and a half hours. Okay, so for lunch, it's kind of late, obviously, but I do work later in the night. We're literally just gonna make a simple sandwich with turkey and cheese. So I'll show you all the end product. I'm sure you're not too interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, everyone, I have to call my Uber because I'm going to work, but I forgot to show you my sandwich before I ate it. I'm sorry, but this is just turkey, Munster cheese, and Dave's Killer White Bread, and mustard, and a little bit of organic mayo. Mmm. Okay, so my Uber's almost here, so I'm gonna put on my jacket, but this is not a vlog, so y'all probably don't care. My snack before I go to work is a cookie. Mmm, and I have a second one. Woo! I also make sure to get a bunch of water in while I'm at work and throughout the day, so. Let's go to Uber. Hello, friends. It is 10.30. We have yet to eat dinner, so we're gonna whip that up. My chicken is in the crock pot right now, and it smells delicious. But I actually just got home, that's why. If you think I like waited this long to eat dinner, I didn't. Now we are going to cook the rice for the chicken and rice. I'm gonna like make it like a cute like little baked dish. It's gonna be so yummy, woo! Okay, let's get started. Okay, so you're in my cabinet, but now I'm putting four cups of water into my pan to cook my rice in. And I'll show you all my little scoopies, or what are they called, measuring cups? I call them scoopies, but they're from Amazon, but they're the kitchen egg. I don't know, but they're really cute. They're like blue, little cute Scoopies, super cute. I use this brand of rice. I don't know what it's called. Okay, so the chicken and the chicken broth are nice and marinated. Now we're gonna shred the chicken. Okay, so my rice is done cooking and it's over there in a dish about to go in the um, oven, but now I have to make my sauce. So I have this cream of chicken with herbs from Campbell and I'm gonna pour this into like a little pan and then we're gonna put it on top of the chicken. All right, so here's the finished product on the cream of chicken on top, shredded chicken and rice in the bottom. Yum. I also burned myself, um, as you can see right there, getting this out of the oven or into the oven, so this better be good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, her. So let's try this chicken and rice. It doesn't look that great. I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna spill it. Um, this is my dad's recipe and I'm pretty sure I messed it up, but that's okay. Let's try it. It's good. Um, I think that's gonna be it. Actually, no, I'm gonna eat dessert. Never mind. I'm so I'm gonna eat this and then I'll talk about my last little snack meal of the day. All right, last little snack of the day is dessert. So I will be having two of my last chocolate chip cookies I got from McDonald's and my chicken and rice dish is just in this um, glass container that's gonna go in the fridge once it cools down. I forgot to um, film an outro, but thank you so much for watching. Follow me on TikTok at Jacoby.Sins. I'm really active on there. Follow me on Instagram at Jacoby.Sins. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace out. I love you. Mwah.